Who doesn't love a good piece of pie? Everybody loves pie. But some more than others. Like a lot more. Today we're taking a look at a mystery that gained quite a bit of popularity a few years back and to this day remains unsolved. You guys, this is the mystery of Captain Coochie's Key Lime Pies. Back in 2016, a post was made on the Unresolved Mysteries subreddit by a user, likely using a burner account, named KeyLimeWTF, who detailed a mysterious online phenomenon he had stumbled upon. The user was reading an article online published by his college newspaper. In the comments section of the page, where only three comments were posted, one of them caught his attention. Hard to miss, seeing as how it was an insane wall of text, a nonsensical post by a Roger Ramjet, raving about a Captain Coochie's Key Lime Pie. A very weird read, to say the least. Curious, the user did a quick search on what the heck is a Captain Coochie's Key Lime Pie, and what they discovered was thousands of comments in a similar style to the one in the article, tucked away on various corners of the internet. Just wait till Roger Ramjet gets wind of this! <laughs> Posted on blogs, news articles, product reviews, IMDB pages, you name it, all raving about a Captain Coochie's Key Lime Pie. It's weird. It just it doesn't make any goddamn sense. And so, the question was posed to Reddit, and it quickly garnered a lot of attention. The Key Lime Pie mystery became a popular topic in the internet sleuthing communities, and over the years was covered by many of the usual suspects on YouTube such as Nexpo and The Gamer From Mars, but here we are, late to the party, many years later, where are we at now? What's been uncovered since the mystery was first brought to light nearly six years ago? <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Well, we still don't know. But let's be honest, this is one of those mysteries that will probably never be definitively solved. But over the years, there have been some interesting findings and some pretty solid theories put together. First, just what is a Captain Coach's Key Lime Pie? Well. It's not just a made-up thing. Luckily, the mysterious poster regularly mentions many names and places that give us a lot to go on, particularly an Anita Palaez and an Oswald Palaez, a restaurant named Coochie's Key West Cucharitaville Cafe, a mouthful, apparently located in North Carolina. What's funny is, trying to search for this restaurant online is a fairly fruitless endeavor. Every result you get is either one of our anonymous commenters posts or a conversation discussing the mystery. Yet still, people were able to trace it back to an old restaurant in Asheville, North Carolina that did indeed exist. I did some digging through some old newspaper archives in the area and found the restaurant which went by several names over the years. Coochie's Steak and Lobster House, Coochie's Dine and Dance Supper Club, or just Coochie's. And these are ads going all the way back to the 70s and 80s. Though I didn't find anything in the papers regarding a Cucharitaville. Though I did find a listing of a business on the site Foodio54, Coochie's Key West Cucharitaville Cafe. But typically, anyone can go in and edit these kinds of sites, so take that for what it's worth. But Coochie's in Asheville, North Carolina, this is definitely it. The birthplace of the Key Lime Pie mystery, as newspaper articles confirm, it was owned by an Oswald Pelias, which we know by the commenter is Captain Kochi himself, and of course his wife Anita Pelias. So we know that the restaurant did indeed exist, but it doesn't bring us any closer to solving the mystery. It's one of those classic cases where seeking answers has only left us with more questions. Because sometime in the late 2000s, ownership of the restaurant changed, and Kochi's was no more. Here's an ad from January 2009 for an All-Stars Sports Bar & Grill from the same address as Coochie's. Google Maps Street View has this feature where you can actually use a slider to jump to different dates, different points in time from when the photos would have been taken of the area. Here you can see it's All-Stars, and if we jump back to 2008, while it looks run down and dilapidated, you can just barely make out the words Key West. Coochie's Key West Cucharitaville Cafe. So why is this relevant? Well, we can track the poster's comments and determine that the earliest posts by our Key Lime Pie fanatic were made back in 2009. But we know because of the newspaper ad that at this point, Coochie's was already closed. 
Thousands of comments were being made all over the internet between 2009 to 2016 praising and promoting this Captain Coochie's Key Lime Pie, this Coocheritaville restaurant, when the place had been closed down for years. Again, it just doesn't make any goddamn sense. Next, we need to talk about the comments themselves. We know for sure that our Key Lime Pie perpetrator was posting rampantly between 2009 to 2016. After 2016, I can't, in good faith, attribute any comments to the same person, as obviously the story gained a lot of popularity and copycats and trolls are everywhere. Google has this feature when you search for something, you can actually select a date range and filter out anything published outside of a specific period. So for our purposes, we can filter out anything from, say, after 2015, and that way you'll only get authentic comments by our Key Lime Pie spammer. And yep, there's a lot of them. <laughs> pages upon pages of results, and these are only the ones discovered by the search engine. There's likely tons more out there that haven't even been found. And while yes, every post goes on about Kochi's Key Lime Pie, another strange pattern is many of them are also sexual in nature. Referring back to the college newspaper article where the story began, that article itself was one about oral sex. The comment in that article refers to eating a Kuchi's Key Lime Pie as having a pie-gasm. Think I'll just get all the girls together and we can all nude up and go to Captain Kuchi's and get drunk and screw. Let's go, y'all. Sounds like a good time. A great big piece of that poontang pie? Here's an article about increasing one's sperm production. Captain Kuchi's Key Lime Pies will increase your ejaculation load by 500%. The story truly gets more and more bizarre the more you look into it. Many of the comments are not simple copy-paste jobs, as made evident in this ejaculation comment. It's kind of somewhat on topic to the article. Though of course, some of the comments are copy-paste jobs, specifically the ones from 2013 onwards. They also seem to get longer and more rambling as time goes on. There's even been community efforts of cataloging many of the comments. There's dedicated Google documents capturing where, when, and what was posted, and under what alias, usually a celebrity. Before we move on to the theories, I'd like to mention that, due to the fact that this story gained quite a bit of popularity, from 2016 onwards, the waters have been muddied, where it's likely that any new evidence or posts are most certainly not legitimate. People have discovered Facebook accounts and accounts and other social media sites that seemingly have something to do with the mystery, where actually they're just trolls or people hijacking the mystery and turning it into something else. I believe that in this case, what you see is what you get, and there's nothing more sinister going on here. It's just a person making a bunch of comments about pies. Or is it? Let's move on to the theories. The posts are made by a bot. Why would a person post thousands of comments over the course of many years talking about a pie in a restaurant that's no longer in business. Well, maybe it's not a person at all. The argument that it could be a bot is a reasonable one, but personally I don't buy it, especially when we consider that many of the comments do tie into the articles they're posting on, such as that ejaculation one we mentioned earlier. Plus there's just a nuanced way about how a lot of these messages are typed out. It's either a person or a really, really good bot especially for 2009. Plus, you need to consider that many of these sites the comments are posted on do require account setup, registration, email verification, CAPTCHA, a lot of things that a bot might struggle with. You know, unless it's YouTube. The poster is Oswald Pelaez. Captain Kuchi himself? Perhaps this one's a little too on the nose, but the more you think about it, the more it kind of makes sense. There's reason to believe the poster is a little bit older. After all, the restaurant was certainly in its prime in the late 70s and 80s. Not to mention the pop culture references point us to someone who was likely a child in the 50s to 60s. I also think some of the comments are telling, like some of them refer to Anita Palaez as a goddess. Beautiful, lovely, and sexy. And of course, Anita was Oswald's wife. Now. Why would Oswald be posting about his restaurant years after it closed down? Who knows? Maybe as a way to reminisce about old times. Maybe to ensure his once thriving restaurant isn't forgotten, lost to time. Can't say for sure, but it's definitely an interesting theory. Reverse SEO Speaking of interesting theories, reverse search engine optimization. Covering up some sort of bad publicity 
by flooding the web with similar keywords on different sites, which makes that bad publicity harder to find. Think of it like throwing a haystack on top of a needle. We know Cochise closed in the late 2000s, but of course, we don't know why it closed. But we do know that the comments started around 2009. So, is it possible this flood of comments began as a way to drown out some sort of information that they didn't want public? It's a damn good theory. The poster is mentally ill. The least interesting of the theories, and I hate to be a drag, but I do think that this is the most likely scenario. Oftentimes, the simplest solution is the correct one. Of course, we don't know for sure, but we have seen behavior like this on the internet before. It's funny, when I read into this mystery, it immediately reminded me of the Yay Video Games mystery, Ubisoft Goes Steamworks Bye Bye, always on DRM, which I made a video about a while back. Turns out Nexpo even referenced this in his video as well. And while this is a bit different as it took place over the course of many years, it's very difficult to rule out mental illness as a possibility. Perhaps this person went to Kuchi's back in the day, used to frequent the spot, and it just stuck with them over the years, and as an act of compulsion, tends to write about it online again and again. It's a tough possibility to rule out. But that's it folks, that's where we stand with the Key Lime Pie mystery. Again, it's one of those mysteries that may never be solved. Even if someone were to come forward and claim responsibility, it would probably be met with heavy scrutiny and uncertainty. I think nothing short of hearing from Captain Kuchi himself will truly put this mystery to rest. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what theory in this video that you're leaning towards as a possible explanation for the key lime pie phenomenon. And if there's any other internet mysteries out there that you'd like to see covered on the channel, please let me know in the comments. And of course, for stories similar to this one, consider binge watching the series using the Deep Cuts playlist. Thanks again for watching this one, guys. Peace.